I don't know what these insignia. Well, my Joy Con's going nuts. I don't know what these insignia mean. Anything here I can not steal? Just pick up. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following Hey, a workbench. This is stealing, right? Yeah, it's stealing. All right, so how do I get down here? So we're doing stuff for... Did I already discover this? I don't have any repair tools right now. Andy Cleo, that's who. Have you given your... We're still doing stuff for June Lil. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news. Uh, any of you know how to get down there? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. How about we go through this door? Oh! That's elevator. I saw that there was a video about how this game was... was a noble endeavor, but... But it didn't work out or whatever, and I'm going, guys. I know you have to make it seem like everything that the Switch releases sucks. You guys are pretty damn good at what you do. But I don't see the problem here. I'm really not seeing it. By the law, we are unstoppable. You're not kidding. You shit through all these things. I, mean, I really, I watched a playthrough on, it was the same thing like Bloodstained. I watched playthroughs on the, the pros and stuff. There's no difference. It's a little muddier, maybe, but it's not like it's completely and utterly noticeable. It's not like there's missing scenes and, I'll, I'll say the, the Witcher 3, when it was first released, yes. It would crash in big places when you played Gwent. The Gwent game thing was kind of wacky, but that got solved. And that's an old game. It's a big game, but it's an old one. But even so, you can play the fucking game on the console. That's all that matters. And it's the whole game. DLC and everything. And when you played it, ow, oh, when you played it docked, it looked fine. I played it on the PS4. Good news. I would sneak, but her sneak is just garbage. Yeah, I watched a playthrough of this on the Xbox One S or something. It it doesn't look that much better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not saying it doesn't look better, it just doesn't look that much better. No you got him. To make it like, oh, this was a failure. Failure, it's the fucking game. I, lo I love every time there's a cross... A cross release, it's al it always looks like shit on, this, on the, the Switch. Always. Something hit me hard. Uh, wait, it's saving, isn't it? Don't worry, Mama Cass is coming. Come on. Robophobia. What? 
Wait, if I reject it, if I accept it, I get a, a perk point? No, I'll accept it. What are we doing in terms of level? Oh wait, hold on, I want you to... Shit. Oh, his is much better than mine. What about gear? Four thousand. Oh, I got that tickle on my nose again. I want to sneeze, but it hasn't happened in a week. I haven't sneezed in a week, and it was a couple days before that. And it just keeps giving me f like phlegm. Anyway. Back to the terminal. And I know that... Jack, the temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you thanks. I know that the PS5 has released some footage of a couple of games that, that are coming out for it. The Spider-Man game that everyone made a big deal about sucked dick. I don't care what anyone says. It was five hours of Arkham games only you were playing as Spider-Man and it was six hours of a shitty storyline that was so predictable it was painful. It also had you play as Mary Jane and just sneak around which was idiotic because Mary Jane was never a reporter that it was the stupidest. They made Mary Jane into a wannabe new new age virgin of version of Lois Lane. It's like, yeah, because women have to do things like this to be respectable, right? And she was constantly getting herself in trouble. She was constantly having arguments with Peter Parker that had no relevance towards anything remotely close to valid. <clears throat> it was just obnoxious. And then you played as Mor Miles Morales using technology when he had no powers whatsoever. It was just idiotic. But everyone made a big deal about it because, you know, hey, I play Spider-Man. I mean, not for long, but, you know, Spider-Man. Changed so many important characters. It did the last character twist. It made it like the main villain was not the actual main villain. How am I getting out of here? Yeah, it was just, it was just predictable and everything. And I watched all the DLC and the only good stuff was the one with the black cat, but again, they have to make her more manly, so she wasn't anywhere near as gorgeous as she used to be. Or as ample, because God forbid. And again, it was The Last of Us, it was... That shitty God of War game. It's the same shit over and over again. The relationship resolutions are the same. Everything is the same. There's no difference. But they have a second one coming out now about Miles Morales. I fucking don't care. Okay, what's going on here? Where's my map? That's not helping me. Last of Us 2 I really couldn't care less about. You know, again, are they... 
I get it, Sony. You're trying, unless it's somebody else, <clears throat> unless it's an actual Japanese company, you're just making movies that you can interact with. Okay, fine. That's great. But movies, typically, I can only watch once. So, a good game is not a game that I get through and say, oh, that was interesting. All right, anyway, I'll never play that again. The reason why I played Last of Us twice was because I wanted to do a Let's Play after I did, or a walkthrough after I played the game through for a review. But it was not because I enjoyed it. I mean, it was okay. It was... The characters had impact, or Ellie did anyway, but... That only goes so far. I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn's another one. I played once, it was fun. To an extent, I'm done with it. I don't care about it anymore. It's, you know, I just don't. So if you want to make movies that you can interact with, whatever, but how the fuck do I get out of here? But I can only play a movie once. You have to make games, man. PlayStation 5 has no games. Xbox One Series X might have a games, but that CPU is like 600 pounds. And these consoles are going to cost upwards of $500. How are you going to fucking pay for that? Nobody can work right now, so how are you going to pay for that? Wait, is there a ladder or something? What the hell is this? I mean, you could not be releasing new expensive consoles at a worse time right now. Really, just do yourself a favor, get a Switch. You can play pretty much the same games on. The only games that are worth playing, you can play on them. I mean, do you want to try out, oh yeah, look, that game was interesting. Now I'm, I'm done with it. Okay, now I'm done with it. Exclusives are the best. You can play pretty much any decent game out there. It's a gaming console and it's cheap. And it looks fucking fine. <laughs> How in the hell am I getting out of here? Ouch. Oh, it's right here. Limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? I love you. Slow down. What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My knee is just acting up. You kidding me? You guys kicked ass. You guys were awesome. The captain and I'll take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. I need sex with her. But I don't think I'm going to be the one she's looking for. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Thanks, darling. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I'll have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. God, I want you. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who- And who made this guy a captain? Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. 
Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like it. You're special to me, my darling. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how it... I mean, I don't want to take it off my crew. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. <laughs> it was. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention. Thanks. Can you move now? Thank you. You're right. I don't. The board is after two... Playing two Divinity two Original Sin 2 with this controller is really it. fucking awful. Who knows where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Boy, you guys really are involved in United States politics and matter because this is, this is the United States. Okay, anyway, so who needed help? This is Halcyon News. We I love when I'm moving left when I'm not moving left at all. It's great. Story. Can you sell me stuff? You look like someone who's taking their share. Well, it's it. Bruises. Need some armor? Maybe yeah. Second hand, but that's only testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Okay. Let's see what you got, son. Well, I gotta repair everything. It's light armor that's... Nah. Stop. I don't even know what I bought. Stop fucking moving. Fucking stop moving immediately. Fucking swear with you. Yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense that I made her into a sneak type when she's wearing all this heavy armor. You know? There you go, baby. And you... Yeah, you look like a schmuck now. <laughs> all right. How are the repairs going? 
Just plug the last of the O2 leaks. I'm ready for downtime. CMP near Maple Town. What's this? Right. Fix those radiators. I know she's in there, Mburu. Wait, spacers should do it. They're the ones that give us the Can we rent an upstairs room? Ooh, yes, baby. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. Really? Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Sorry. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, it depends on what you're talking about. Holy shit! Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. I was actually supposed to go see, talk to her. The long transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway, and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. I love you. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Mmm, that sounds like fun. Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Gladys, you're my kind of woman. The corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? I like that. You talk about cookies and all this responding to grandmotherly stuff, and then you want me to go in the middle of a fucking war. Fantastic. Certain valuable corporate secrets. Well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Yes, ma'am. I found a handsome ceramic manda pillar at a salvage auction last week. Yeah! How the hell did I get to level 9? Do you have... Holy shit! What's with the red?
Hey, it's the comedian. Okay, well, I think Edna was the one I was supposed to speak with. I'm gonna stop with the stealth, seeing as how she's pretty much a fucking juggernaut. That's a bathroom. Sorry, I just didn't realize. I saw a straight path. Toss ball final is scheduled to air soon. Sorry, I'll put that away now. We should probably get some new guns. Although these are doing pretty well. Missiles, purple body crunch. That's Ada. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chain. I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. That's it. How do I do this? Try to avoid it. I don't even know how to use that holograph thing. So let's try to avoid uh, an incident. Most likely, I'm gonna have to do another favor to get my ship released. I know she's in there, Empuru. You can pay me to visit Monarch. I'd probably get my face eaten off. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't. Hey, baby. Sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Is it a strip? Because you can do that for me. I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. No, it's not. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Well, I want sex with you. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Well, wait to be impressed. Wait, who am I speaking to here? Nobody. All right, cool. Uh, hello. Uh, June Lei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Mm. 
She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. I don't imply, I infer. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. I will buy all of these. So we'll try to figure this out. When I come back, I will see you then.